Are you ready to make a vortex cannon? Are you ready? We're gonna build a vortex cannon using a garbage can, a paint can, a hammer, and some other things. Let's do this, it's super awesome. Dead, the dead cat out of the picture. And I use the drill pilot holes so I can have these like little smaller cuts. Alright, so the goal is that I can fit this in here without any issues. So it's actually pretty good. So now that we have the hole cut out on the garbage can, what we need to do is cover the top with some film and plastic. So there are a whole bunch of different ways to do this. I've seen a number of people use like um, a shower curtain or I've seen people use like a tablecloth. I actually really like to use this underlayment and I forget the, the thickness of it, but it's really thick and you, it, you can really just smack it a couple of times and it's not gonna break through because I've had some issues where I break through the plastic because I'm just hulking out when I'm doing my vortex cannon in front of kids and working with uh, organizations. So this stuff, is awesome. It's super thick. I got it at Lowe's, leftover from when I actually uh, laid the flooring in my house. So, reduce, reuse, recycle, right? We'll clean that up later. We'll get that cleaned up later. All right, so I need to cover this guy. So the goal is to get extra. So not only do you need a garbage can and some underlayment, but I have a bungee cord. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna actually wrap it around the top of it to get it nice and snug. And then I'm gonna cut it, get it pulled down, basically get the membrane nice and tight, and then I'm gonna use some duct tape to help kind of keep it in place. It's time. It's so much fun. Everyone. It's science time. Yes, you yeah, best believe. So obviously it's super wrinkled. I mean, you can see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it out. We know it's awesome. We know it's great. It's science time. So here we go together. Now enjoy the show. Hands up, clap, and join the science time. It's science time. Duct tape. It's science time. So I'm just gonna put a little piece there, and then I'm actually gonna spin it to the other side. And I'm gonna pull down on this part to so get some tension. And I'm gonna come over here. It's like tuning a, a drum head. You go, you you tune from opposite ends. So you do a little bit of tension there, tension here, tension here, tension here, until you get it nice and even. And the only dilemma is once we tighten this up, it's not gonna let us keep tightening it. But what'll happen is we hit it, it's gonna pull that tape up and we'll just have to kind of pull it back down. But it works pretty well. If anybody out there has built one of these and there's a better way to do this, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Let us know how you've done it. If you've got photos and videos of you using your Vortex Cannon, let me know, I wanna see it. These things are so much fun.
feels not necessarily pretty at all. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna look pretty bad. So if you have black duct tape and a black garbage can, cool. Blue garbage, garbage can, blue duct tape, Yahtzee. But if you want people to know that you put time and effort into building this thing, it's gonna look just like this. Crazy, insane. But the final product which we're about to do is going to be amazing. You're probably saying, how do I get smoke into this thing? So I have a fog machine that I use sometimes for this, but I'm actually taking this to an event tomorrow. There's a fishing derby locally and they've asked me to host it. Uh, the science part of it while the judges are doing their judging so that the kids and families would have some entertainment and we're gonna learn some science together. We're gonna do some hair raising science, but I'm not gonna have electricity. So I thought to myself, what am I gonna do in order to get some smoke into my cannon so you can actually see the vortex rings because that's what makes it super cool yeah i'm gonna put some cups on their heads i'm gonna have them hold cups in their hands and they're gonna shoot off but most importantly the thing that's gonna be really cool about this is that you can actually see the smoke ring come out of the cannon and so i was thinking oh, why not use smoke bombs to do this and so that's what we're gonna do but the problem is still how do i get a smoke bomb how do I get the smoke bomb in here without melting the plastic and damaging my plastic shell? And so I had a clever way to do this. Commence drilling holes into this. My battery's dead. That's all right, I think I got enough. All right, so now that I have some holes in here so that my flame and my fire can breathe a little bit, I have smoke bombs. Smoke balls. Six pieces, TNT. And I, it was buy one, get one free, so I got 12 of these for two bucks. And then I have these jumbo ones, green ammo smoke. Jumbo, I've used one of these before and they smoke tons and tons and tons. I'm not planning on using this for our event tomorrow. It's just, um, it's gonna be too much and I don't wanna smoke out all the families and things like that. This is something that I might do if at a bigger event, if I have a, a bigger audience so that I can just keep the smoke going and keep the Vortex Cannon firing. But for what I'm gonna do tomorrow, it's not gonna hurt to throw a couple things in. And plus I can use green, yellow, purple, blue, this will be cool. It'll just different colors of smoke and everyone will really enjoy it. Awesome. Overkill. Perfect. Multiple time use. A lot of fun.
Hope you liked the video, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe. I've got lots of other cool stuff that's coming out, and I want to share that with you guys. And hopefully today's science activity, hair raising science, was kind of like a little tutorial, like a vlog. It wasn't the intent, but it kind of turned out that way. And it's a lot of fun, so let me know what you think. Comments below, subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications. There's just some really cool stuff shaking out, and I want to be able to share it with you guys because you guys are just so important to what I do in growing my brand and also growing uh, my audience so I can share my passion and love for science with all of you. All right, take care. Thanks. Thanks.